Welcome back guys, Paul Alt of Harvard Online Training Session 2. Okay, in this session we are going to discuss about the Paul Alt, how to configure the Paul Alt device management configuration. And after that, Paul, Paul Alt of Harvard minimum, minimum password complexity. Okay, how to set the Paul Alt banner and message. Okay, and how to save the configuration. So today we are going to cover all these topics. So let me start configuration. Okay, so right now guys, you can see we are not getting any welcome message here. We are not getting anything here when you are logging in your Palo Alto firewall. Okay, so now guys, first of all, what we have to do, we have to configure our device management configuration. Okay, so guys, this one is your dashboard. In last lecture, we discussed about this dashboard. Now what we have to do, we have to click, click here in the device tab and after that setup, and management okay in the management guys first of all you will be get the general setting in this general setting you will be get your device name uh, device name domain name login banner after that your time sorry uh, where is the time yeah this one is the time okay you will get all these settings here so guys as you can see our device name is Paul Alto firewall 01 and after that domain name is firewall.net okay Online. Oh, wait, guys. Fall out of firewall online training. Training. Okay. So, guys, uh, time we have already set. You can set your time zone as per your location. Okay. So, this one is in the general setting. After that, guys, here we have banner mess banner and message. Okay. Whatever message you want to give the your employees so you can set here pen os 9.0 okay title for auto firewall so background color let me set here red okay header this one is next generation firewall next generation firewall okay here i want to use uh, orange color and uh, footer i want to set uh, this one as the polo auto and capital letter and uh, color i want to give black okay so this one is our banner and message and after that guys this one is the minimum password complexity so password complexity means uh, first of all we have to enable this feature by default this one is not enabled so minimum length how much you want to set suppose that i want to set eight minimum uppercase one minimum lowercase one numeric one special character one block repeat character zero okay after that guys here we have option block username inclusion means here you cannot use same username for the password okay so this one is the thing and after that this one is the if you want to how after how many days you want to reset your password and uh, uh, this password is valid for how many days you can set all these limit here okay so we have done all the changes if you want to make active these changes so what you have to do you have to commit okay done so after commit, when you log out, then you will see welcome, ban welcome banner, header and footer, everything. And you can see header here and, uh, sorry, header here and footer here. Okay, with this, uh, your domain name, login, login, log out, you will see everything here. Confusion committed successfully. Okay. So guys, now I have to log out. Guys, here generally most of the tab, most of the vendor devices, you will be get log out option here and user detail here. But in the Palo Alto, you will be get left hand side here. Log out. 
now you can see here we are getting banner message palo alto firewall online training admin html sorry let me log in you, you can see palo alto firewall online training so did you mention we also mentioned that header and footer i think in header we have mentioned pan os the nine and footer we have Paul Alto firewall something like that. Let's see. So guys, you can see here in the header, next generation firewall footer. Very soon you will see here footer. Oh, this one is the message pan s nine. Close this. So footer guys, we cannot see that because this one is in a black color. This one is the one of my blender definitely i have to change this color for the next time okay so i cannot use here black color so i have to use here red color also okay so guys this one is our target of this video in the next video we will we see how to uh, use this uh, configuration tab how to save candidate configuration how to take this log and uh, uh, how to commit the confusion during the commit guys here we are getting lot of option validate commit change summary preview changes what is the use of that after that we will check also how to use this uh, config audit and if you want to check your um, current activity means commit and save confusion so how you can check that and how you can stop the job okay and how you can check all these jobs through the cli okay guys okay guys see you in the next video